overview. During this week, we're going to talk about exothermic and endothermic reactions. Exothermic reactions, a chemical reaction that releases energy to its surroundings. It's called an exothermic reaction. In exothermic reactions, the energy released as the product form is greater than the energy required to break the bonds in the reactants. Exothermic and endothermic, for example, we have combustion, is an extremely exothermic reaction when one mole of propane reacts with five moles of oxygen. 2,220 kilojoules of heat is released. In an exothermic reaction, the chemical energy of the reactants is greater than the chemical energy of the product. So we have here the energy released by the reaction, and here I have the energy of the reactant, and as you can see, it decreases the energy of the product. In a chemical reaction, the chemical energy reaches a peak before the reactants change into products. This peak represents the amount of energy required to break the chemical bond of the reactants. The particles must collide with enough energy to break these bonds, or the reaction will not occur. Endothermic reactions, a chemical reaction that absorbs energy from its surroundings is called an endothermic reaction. In an endothermic reaction, more energy is required to break the bonds in the reactants than is released by the formation of the product. In an endothermic reaction, the energy of the product is greater than the energy of the reactant. At about 450 Celsius degree, mercury oxide decomposes into oxygen gas and liquid mercury. The decomposition of mercury oxide is an endothermic reaction. The orange-red powder in the bottom of the test tube is mercury oxide. When the, pow when the powder decomposes, oxygen escapes from the test tube, mercury collects in droplets on the sides of the tube. In an exothermic reaction, the chemical energy of the reactants is, con is converted into heat plus the chemical energy of the products. In an endothermic reaction, heat plus the chemical energy of the reactants is converted into the chemical energy of the product. In both cases, the total energy before and after the reaction is the same. This principle is known as the law of conservation of energy. And those are the assessment question. So for example, during a chemical reaction, an input of energy is always required to, which is break chemical bonds in a molecule. Then we have in an exothermic reaction, the total chemical energy of the products added to the energy released by the reaction is called the equal to the chemical energy of the reactants. Combustion is always an exothermic reaction, which is a true. And 